dun, dun, dun. Bah, 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 bah. Uh, you, what doctor are you going to? to what? what doctor are you going to today? Dr. Banks. Tommy. Tommy, Tommy Banks. Banks. Touchdown, Tommy Banks. That's right. Touchdown, Tommy, oh, uh, Tommy yeah. Banks. Is he a doctor? Hey, he lives right down the road from me. Touchdown, Tommy. When you Tommy's... talk to him, yeah, you need to say you live down the road from I my buddy. I thought he was in the Porta Potty family. Mm-mm. No, that's his wife. That's right. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. His that's brother-in-law is the Porta Potty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, his wife. Who would have figured a touchdown man in college? Would yeah. Be oh, hey, he was awesome. He played yeah. for LSU. He's he's seen me in my underwear. <laughs> he's Who? my wife's doctor too. Yeah. Who Tommy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, he's he's. No, it shocked yeah. me. What I actually went into. He was him. across the street whenever I had to run because I thought somebody was at my house and I was in my underwear at one o'clock in the morning. That's oh. a different story. Right. Different story. I was Wait, friends. I was back. friends with his little brother. Yeah, that so. sounds like one of my stories. I think all the Banks boys <laughs> running them underwear at night. Mm-hmm. I'm what were you saying? You're going to the doctor after huh? this? Yeah, I got to go see Doctor Banks and and I said, Wait a minute. When I first walked in, I said, Banks. Why is that? Y'all you know. He said, uh, they used to call me Touchdown Tommy. Touchdown oh. Tommy Banks, baby. I said, I said, ah, no. Look, I you can, I heard that you can Google him, and I'm sure what will come up is the Sports Illustrated deal with him stretched over the goal line at the University of Florida. Yep. Right. Yep. Like as a fullback hey, for LSU. And the referee going, yeah. Touchdown. Hey. So this is a pretty cool moment for West Monroe sports. Like right. that was a that was a big oh, one. Oh, that's a big deal. Um, you know, most people. Um, boom! There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Right, that, that's him, Sai. Si. <laughs> most boy. high school football phenoms end up selling used cars or something, but not in West Monroe. We grow doctors. That's we, right. Yeah, hey, we grow yeah. doctors. <laughs> there he is. Look at it. I just I remember that magazine cover because he. So my brother played with him at West Monroe and they were friends and I was friends with his little brother Brandon. So um that was back in the days of fullback. Yeah. Oh baby. yeah. And all three of the Banks boys are doctors. That's what's wild. Wow. Like, they had three so sons. That is pretty cool. They they had three sons. They're all medical yeah. doctors. Huh. So um and which proud, is wild. Proud dad and bomb. But speaking of football, I, I I was sitting over here while we were waiting and uh speaking I saw some news that just happened. I saw O.J. Simpson passed away. What? Huh. Just They just announced that O.J. has passed away. Are you the juice is no longer on this earth. No more squeeze in the no juice, boy. He's no longer loose. <laughs> Easy, hey, Johnny. I'm just, I, you don't know where to go with O.J., God that's rest right, his soul. Right. We, yeah. we hope, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just thought it was interesting because Cy has a very interesting take on O.J., so that's Wait, why you I do? was. Well, no, no. I was the only one. Now, here. It, our system, under our system, a man is innocent until proven guilty. So, look, this was a big deal. It was in the news, and I watched the trial on TV. <laughs> I bet you did. Oh, he watched okay. all of it. No, I know no, how I he watched is. All yeah. of it. He's obsessed look, with stuff like that. And yep. look, my family was on me like a a dog on uh, hamburger meat that's dropped on the floor. So what was your position? That is a well, my saying. position was, I said, hey, look, his lawyers did their job. I said, because here's the deal. There was a lot of questions asked that shouldn't have been asked because they didn't know the answer. And look, they proved beyond a shadow of a doubt. They made doubt in your mind. There you go. Okay, that's what our system is geared under. Okay, yeah. all you got to do is, hey, if you if you're not positive that he done it, and look, they asked the stupid question. You know, they had the glove that was at the scene with blood on it, and they <laughs> said, hey, put it on. Well, hey, <laughs> couldn't get it on. If the glove, he couldn't get a finger in it. If the glove does not hey, fit, if the glove don't fit, hey, you got to acquit. There you go. I was well, five, well, look, so I don't really they, have an look, opinion. Me and my family argued that over you know, for years, and I said, "Guys, look, I'm only going by the system we're under." Yeah, yeah. Legally, they, they I didn't, said, they didn't prove it. Now, here's the deal: okay. if you're in the jury box, yeah, and a man is on trial for his life, okay. And well, if doubt. I got doubt in my mind, I'm not going to vote guilty. Reasonable doubt. Reasonable doubt. I'm going to say I can't do it. Yeah. Martin, if I ever get pinched, I won't sigh to be in the jury. 
I, well, no, you don't, hey. no, you don't either. You want him to be your attorney. <laughs> He's the only man I've ever seen make a judge laugh on the stand. So oh no, you won't. You won't sigh. You won't sigh on this side. No, like, we're here for murder. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. smiling and laughing. Hey, the judge and the prosecuting attorney. Yeah. Tell me, Mr. Robson, it was an honor to have you in there in our court. No, they did. See, that's and what I'm telling. Oh yeah. Oh that's- yeah. Yeah, you won't sigh on this side. You don't want him over there making a decision because he's a loose cannon on that end. You want him on your team. I think your... I can actually get him off. Yeah, you want, him, really you want him on your team. Yeah. Because everybody's going to be so distracted that they're like, huh? You know. Like, it's just one of those deals. But what about, I mean, wouldn't Cy get close to the line of maybe perjuring his, himself? Oh, no. The, ju- the judge would always be threatening me with a. Contempt of court. If you say one more word, you know, contempt of court. And I'd say, Your Honor. And he said, Contempt. And I told it. I was just addressing you properly, sir. You watch yeah. a lot of lawyer shows, don't you? Uh-huh. Perry and Mason. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's seen yeah. all of them. Oh. Hmm. What else do you have to do? Mainly just Steve Harvey <laughs> and Judy. Yeah. But and Perry Mason. Some real ones. Oh, no. The best one. The He's best probably judge seen the every best judge that has ever sat behind the bench. Steve Harvey. It's Steve Harvey, baby. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, Put I'm him on the Supreme Court, baby. Oh, I'm telling you, hey, hey, I'd vote for him. The boy <laughs> runs, I'd vote for him. I'm serious. All of his decision was Harvey based on. Robertson. Here's the story, both sides of the story, and then using common sense, come up with the best possible solution to their problem. Si, your birthday's in just a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. I know. So, I had birthday. a whole bunch of birthdays in the Robertson family. Yeah, I know. Uh, you can back up 10 months, and y'all had something really special going uh, on there. April must be a fruitful uh, month. No, we ain't talking about April. We're talking about 10 months but prior to April. <laughs> Whatever that is. That's what <laughs> That's what we looking at. We're talking about June. We're talking about July 4th, summertime, special okay, something. Yeah, I don't that's, know. That's what happened. That's oh. when you lead to April births. The, the April mm-hmm. is just when y'all were calved. We'll that call not... Carter if we need to. <laughs> I'm having to do the math in my head. <laughs> 40 weeks, you know. 40 of them. So the After other day I said, to the stork. I said, Si, we were going over his calendar and things he's got coming up. And I said, your birthday's coming up. What kind of birthday do you want? Poker. Yeah. No, no, no. Let's get a bunch, of, a bunch of people. We'll have a huge poker tournament. He said, no. Oh. I said, well, let's have some bands come in. We'll cook crawfish, invite everybody, you know. No, because he's already had crawfish is like a couple thousand dollars at this juncture. Well, hey, we oh, we yeah, we could, we, could, we, we could pull it out. So anyway, uh, he ended up saying <laughs> no because he's already had all these birthdays, <laughs> awesome birthdays that you can never top. And so I mean, he, y'all have been to some of those. What are we doing this year? Going to Domino's Pizza, no. playing Domino's. <laughs> That's, That's a good fun. idea. <laughs> that ain't a bad idea. <laughs> Me and Johnny D want to take y'all home. By the way, I, I, I still <laughs> needs to happen. Bust one of them. Uh, domino tables. Uh, no, he, he oh, just, he just said, pizza what are we doing? Yeah, uh, He said, I'm, I want to invite 10 people to come over and, that, play, poker. and, I, and play poker. I and said, then, I, then I'll fleece them. I said, do you want, you want us to have something good to eat? Nope. It's just a low key birthday. Yeah, nobody bring anything. Nope. All you nope. do is brush you up with plenty of cash in your pocket. So that's his wish for his birthday. <laughs> I like it. So at 76, you go in low key this year. That's right. Low this key. is low, the at lowest 80, key. We're going poker, to rent poker. an entire cruise oh. ship. Yeah. Texas hold them and bring plenty of cash. <laughs> hey, there you go. Hey, you're 76. You can do what you, you want. Do what I you don't want. Care. To. But no, I thought, I didn't know if we'd ever touched on size opinion on OJ. I thought that was a fun one. Hey, to, to go that's down. a good one. No, no. I remember so many arguments about that. And I said, guys, wait a minute, y'all ain't you, you know, you're not listening to what I first said. It was a awful. man is innocent until proven guilty. You might be getting blasted in the comments. It I was the first time ever. I don't uh, care. I yeah. stand. I, I, my conviction. I'm gonna stand by it. I have yeah. no opinion. He okay. backs the judicial system. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Size right. point is prove it. Yeah, right. and well, you didn't. I understand yeah. that now. I think he's I don't guilty. Know. No, no, I have to. Hey, but look, y'all. I do. <laughs> I'll, I'll just have, tell you what I, I think. Look, I took my Guilty. hat off. Bing. I took my hat off for his lawyers. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Martin, what's your because opinion? Because they, they come to court prepared, and they did make put doubt in the people's minds. So what was yeah. I was, what, eight or nine years old, probably? Yeah. You were seven. I was five-ish. Yeah. Uh, here's what I remember. And it's one of those funny things. It had so much coverage. That is a core memory for, for me. <laughs> like, 
Yeah. I still cannot see a white square body no. Bronco driving no. down the road <laughs> no. and not think of OJ Simpson. No, no. I, that's one of those weird that was things. June, like, it's weird that no, I know no, that. That's look. June 21st, 1994, right? They ran Somewhere. that on the news hours yeah. of nothing but him driving with the police behind him. Yeah. yeah. And so that was – that's yeah. one of those core memories. June 17th. That I remember thinking, like, I don't know – here's what I'd say to this. I don't know how he didn't do it, but in the words of Cy, they did create a reasonable doubt that he did. Now, whether or not you like that or not – it is our system. That's our system. It is the system in the United yeah. States. Yeah. And one day you may be the beneficiary of that said system. So I'm not going to knock it. I'm just the- going to say they they worked the system. They exploited the system for what it is, which is what I think all people that are great in their field do. Hey, look, if you've been listening to us for a while, you know. We're not superstar athletes. We're just regular dudes. Regular dudes. Who do regular things. That's right. And it's important to stay regular and to stay healthy to be regular. So it's important that we take supplements of the highest quality. And that's why we've been partnered with AG1. How long have we been drinking AG1, Philip? A long time. Probably about three years for us. Yeah. And unlike a lot of those other brands of supplements, yeah. AG1 conducts a bunch of testing to set the standard for purity and potency. And it's researched and developed by an in house team of scientists, uh, doctors, and nutritionists. Are you a scientist, doctor, or nutritionist? Negative. On Negative. That. So, how are we supposed to know? That's why we go with AG1 because they've got decades of experience in their field. Quality for AG1 isn't just a buzzword. It's a commitment backed by expert-led scientific research, high-quality ingredients, industry-leading manufacturing, and rigorous testing at each step of the process. AG1 goes above and beyond industry standards. Philip, you've made a pack right here. It's that easy. I, but- I did. I knew I was doing the duck call room this morning, and so uh, I waited to do my AG1 here. Right there. And um, look, we never miss a day when we drink our AG1, me and my wife, Alicia, and we've loved it for a long time, and it's really helped us out. Yep. And we know we can trust what's in every scoop of AG1 because they obsess over product quality, the standards of manufacturing partners, and sustainable practices. Taking care of your health shouldn't be complicated. And that's why AG1 simplifies this by replacing multiple health supplements like multivitamins, digestive aids, immune support, and more in just one scoop or travel pack. Philip already did all that while we were doing this ad. You can definitely tell when you miss a day and you don't drink it. Uh, Some time goes by, you're craving to go back and drink your AG1. AG1's ingredients are heavily researched for efficacy and quality. And I love that every scoop also includes vitamin C. Mm. Can't get enough vitamin C and zinc. To support my immune health, look, it all started back when Superman himself, Christian Huff, started drinking AG1, Mm -hmm. got us all on it. We're not Superman, and I'm not going to be able to lift the weights he lifts, but I'm going to be able to feel great every single day (laughs) by drinking AG1. And you're going to have better gut health. Better, yeah, that's important for me. Look, we've been partnered with AG1 for so long because they make such a high-quality product that I genuinely look forward to drinking every day. So if you want to replace your multivitamin and more, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first subscription at drinkag one dot com slash duck that's drink ag one dot com slash duck check it out and and here's the deal okay ever since dna come into play there's been people that have spent 20 years in prison wrongfully wrongfully they were not guilty dna proved it yeah and then, so, so then, I'm not going. Hey, that's why, you know. So what's when worse? I get a subpoena from the from the courts, said I got to come and and be a citizen. Yeah, and be a citizen. I don't like it. Oh, yeah. jury okay. duty. Jury duty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't like it for one reason. Okay, because that when they when they talk to you, bring it in and talk to you. Okay, well, what about this? And I said, guys, here's the deal. <laughs> I said you may You're not want me on sitting jury. on this jury. Yeah. I said because if his lawyer puts doubt in this boy's head, I'm gonna vote not guilty. Yeah. 
Side be a side be a hung jury and a heartbeat. Oh yeah, and hey, and, and hey, the other eleven of you might as well give it up. I ain't. Uh-uh. And he's so hard in it, he ain't changing. Uh-uh. He ain't changing. Uh-uh. That's eleven angry Until men. Until you yeah. prove to me that he's guilty. Yeah, that's because uh, hey, I've I've met people. So what's worse in your opinion, letting somebody go or murder that that may have done it, or putting a man behind bars that didn't do it for? Man, that's the duck why, call room just that, got that's deep. Why, no, no. I mean, I'm just it is I, deep, seriously. That's why I would vote. Hey, I'm not going to vote him guilty. I, he gets away with it. I'm going to say hey, something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But hey, you didn't prove his guilt. Yeah, yeah. prove it. That's why I am so. Uh, what would would I can't even think of the word. I I always look for the best in everybody. Yeah. You're an optimist. I'm sitting here. I asked a question well, that I didn't even know an answer to. I don't know if it's worse. <laughs> I'm now. I'm like playing got, it in my head. Is it is it yeah. worse for a guilty man to go free, or an innocent man to be locked no, up? It's worse if the innocent man is incarcerated. Because yeah, odds yeah. are the guilty man will do something stupid again because he got away with it once, where not he all. eventually ends up there. Where the and innocent not guy. That. Well, not only that, then you go and bring God into this. Yeah, you may get away with it on your on your fellow human being. That's but exactly right. But hey, coming. you're going to answer for it. Yeah. You're going to answer for it. Judgment, right. judgment, yeah. and vengeance. Yeah, and yeah. so it, is. it belongs to the Lord. <laughs> yeah, I, I, my opinion is that you know, look, I don't do celebrities get preferential treatment. Yes, is it right? No, but but it does happen. Well, there's a lot of people get get treated yeah better than they deserve that's right so what happened what happened i mean i don't know if he did it or if he didn't do it i think he did but they didn't prove it then they should have so we do have a broken system but god's system's not broken that's no. why i hope he repented and turned his life to jesus that's what okay. i hope happened yeah. and right. it could have and that's not going to make the news yeah. and and even the repenting and doing that, he's still going to answer for it. That's why. Like, I, I mean, the the question will still be asked, and you still answer for everything you've done. Yep. Well, and, it's either you're you in know. Jesus and His blood, yeah. and you're forgiven for everything you've ever Amen. done, yeah, or you answer it through the law. Yeah, that's why my favorite Bible verse is John three sixteen and, and seven seventeen. There yeah. it is. Okay, because here's the deal. If anyone is qualified to judge a human being, it would be Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Yeah. And yet, here he comes and says, okay, hey, now, I didn't come down to judge you. Yeah. I came to save you. Yeah. That's why I always tell people, that's way when they say, you know, what about, you know, because you ask the question, is he guilty or innocent? Hey, I'm not qualified. Yeah. I always, I say that a lot, too. There's, I always say, there's a judge and I'm not him. Um, I'm not him. Yeah. And thank be yeah. him that I'm not. <laughs> Amen. Okay, because, hey, no, I'm yeah. not qualified. Always an interesting topic. You never know. Oh, yeah. Man. No, no. You know, murder. But my take on <laughs> what's one of those. Hey, it's an excellent question. Yeah. It yeah, really I'm, is. I'm, I'm, I'm is more. Is it better that he got away with it, or would you rather put an innocent man in his Did you just place? say that he got away with it? Yeah. Well, uh, he's using he. Oh, as yeah. oh I thought term. you were saying OJ. No, I, no. I'll well, say it. He, he got be, away with it. <laughs> he, hey, God rest his soul. Hey, <laughs> the juice is no longer loose. Well, no, no. It's, it, you know, it's, it's, a, it's something that, you know, a human being, that's a good question because a human yeah. being, that's why I don't want nothing to do with John Law. Yeah. Okay, because they scare me. Yeah. Okay, and I'm being honest. Okay, because here's what's happened. You know, I told Jason, I said, hey, all all they got to do is accuse you, Jason. I said, then the cops will come get you, lock you behind bars. And I said, and then it's out of your hands, and it's in a person a we call lawyer. And I said, what if you got one that's overworked and underqualified? Yeah. You know, I said, guess what you're going to do, buddy? You're going to do some time. <laughs> 10 to 20. You know, yeah. Convicted. Hey, Never then convicted. You're sitting no. in the jail saying, what happened? <laughs> I, you know, so no, I would rather say not guilty. Yeah. 
Okay, because yeah. hey, like I said, I'm I would say that we went through a world. We we went through a time where it used to be innocent until proven guilty, and today now you're guilty. You're guilty. The yeah. accusation sticks in yeah. today's world because of social media. But not That's murder. Right. Not murder. Not not. They no. gonna get you. I. Yeah, but hey, they gonna get 90, your hair and say it was him. But here's ninety nine percent of the, thing, of the time. JD, yes, you're Beth's accused. Making weird you're faces. accused. Nobody's accusing me of murder. Well, no, no, no. You but can't I'm accuse saying, me of it. Here's the deal. Okay? I'm not well, in this situation. Well, they then, can't hey, accuse here's the you. Deal. I'm the one. I've been accused. Okay. Of murdering duck. Uh, what? No, no. I've been accused of whatever crime. Yeah. And I'm not guilty. Yet, the public. In their eye. In their eye, I am guilty. Yeah, the accusation. So guess what? In I got to move. I got to move from this place. It goes somewhere in but and, oh no! Oh, that's right. And Cy, si, it's not just murder. I yeah. mean, you can yeah. be accused of all kind of things that you didn't do. Don't know. But because of the opinion of social media or whatever, then you, you're going to have to. In today's try and world, yourself. the accusation sticks. Whether oh, yeah. you whether you like it or not, yeah, the accusation sticks. Yeah, but that's why you, there's still people on this world think Phil Robertson is a horrible man oh, because no. of some. Misquoted that thing in right. GQ magazine. That's exactly that's, right. You're He's right. Had death threats. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, that was my that, point. Now we're of, getting to that point of yeah. today's well. world being different than it was in the past, where you you were so insulated from it, and the the media wasn't there, and the things weren't there that you were in fact innocent unless you were proven guilty. And today you're just guilty. Yeah. And then you have to prove you're innocent. That's, like, that's that. the that's the difference. And what happened then versus what happens now. And you know, now there's going to be a Netflix documentary made about it from one side or the other that thought they were right and try to sway you the other way, just like making a murderer or all those oh, other no. ones that were big during the COVID. And it's one of my, I well, just watched Tiger King. That, Carol hey, that, Baskin. That takes know, me to like, the verse she, where Jesus said, hey, okay, him, they've, him, they've you know? caught this woman in adultery. Mm -hmm. And then Jesus, all he did was said, hey, the one without saying you cast the first stone. Yeah, chunk it. You chunk it. That's why I'm, whoa, no, 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 no. I'm not going to ever look up, look down on you. No, sir, I'm not qualified. No, I'm a goblin. The only thing I chunk rocks at is a sign. Like, I, why I is that so funny? <laughs> <laughs> if you're going down the road and you just yeah. pull a rock out and it yeah. hits a sign, I mean, yeah. what a great feeling. Yeah. <laughs> when you hear it hit the sign, it's, oh, bing, it's just joy. I mean, the first time I heard Goblin put all those words together, that's funner than chunking rocks at a sign. I was like, <laughs> that's, that's pretty daggum fun there, though. Well, I mean, like, because you sit there and you just try to lob a man. Boom. You try <laughs> then, from, you hear, then you hear a quack. Yeah. The best is the yeah. underhand method for me. You just. You let the car do all the speed. Yeah. Well, the best one is if you're driving. You're driving. You <laughs> yeah. One, oh, That's we're right. across. Over. Oh. Over. Over the car. Have you hit a sign like that? Whack. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, a, that's a good shot. That's old school. That's so. a good shot. Martin. Yeah, buddy. What's the greatest piece of mail you've ever gotten? I don't know, man. I, yes, I would, you do. What? It's a mattress, and it came from That's Helix. That, yeah, came from Is that Helix. not the best thing ever? You open a box, boom, you have a mattress, and you're like, a mattress in the mail? I don't know. And then it's like the most comfortable mattress ever because it was tailor-made for you because you took a two-minute quiz, and it was like, hey, you're exactly what you need. Boom. And you're like, wow, this is the most comfortable thing on earth. Thanks, Helix. I will, and it <laughs> came in the mail. I will, have to say, I will have to say, until you get a mattress in the mail, you never realize how tedious going to a mattress store actually is Ugh, to find yeah. the one for you where you can sit down and in two minutes answer all the questions whether it's for you you and your wife your wife your kids whatever fill out the questionnaire and they send you a mattress that's made for you because that that's what they do helix sleep is a premium mattress brand that provides tailored mattresses based on your unique sleep preferences they have 20 unique mattresses including award-winning lux collection and a mattress for Shocker, big and tall sleepers. That's your boy. And even a mattress made just for kids. And now Helix is bringing us their most premium mattresses yet with a new Helix Elite collection. Every Helix Elite has a built-in cooling cover, thousands of supportive coils, dual cushioning layers, and even lumbar support for a truly elevated sleep experience. So if you want to know which one it is, take the quiz. You can get it done in two minutes or less. And then you have a mattress that's built just for you, and it ships straight to your door. And then you jump on it and just 
Hey, you're sleeping on a cloud, boys. You can jump on it. You can lay on it. You can do whatever yeah. you want on right. it because it is that, I mean, it's that well made. And there's no better way to test out a new mattress than by sleeping on it. So, 100 night trial to try out your new Helix mattress. That's right. And if you're not satisfied, which you're not, you're going to be ecstatic about how great it is. Look. <laughs> There you go. And we're all unique. We all sleep differently. That's why Helix has several different mattresses to choose from. They have models with memory foam layers, models more responsive foam to cradle your body, enhanced cooling features to keep you from overheating. And if your spine needs a little extra TLC, they got you. It has a hybrid design combining wrapped steel coils in the base and foam layers at the top. So, I mean, I don't know what else you could want in a mattress. Johnny D., He's wrapped up in a pillow in a cloud oh, every mine night. Mine is just a soft, fluffy, beautiful cloud. There you go. I should go, go back home right now. Moonlight, right? Moonlight. There you go. Moonlight, he's boys. he's chasing the moonlight. Not only is this the best mattress we've ever slept on, but the setup was fast and easy. Helix mattress delivered in a box straight to your door for free. Don't take our word for it. Helix has been awarded the number one mattress pick by Wire Magazine, and it's recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving your sleep. Plus, they're American-made and come with a 10- or 15-year warranty, depending on which one you get. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash duck and use code HELIXPARTNER20. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long with Helix. Better sleep starts now. Go to helixsleep.com slash duck and use code HELIXPARTNER20. I'm just saying on that regard. We're that, not going. Interesting. We're not going into meddling, boys. Oh, well, it's just it's <laughs> interesting topics that things like this, like well, when I saw it sitting over there, I was like, oh, yeah, this could actually be kind of fun. So it's an interesting one. Yeah. I mean, it just all goes back to at the at the end of the day, judge, jury, trials, all the things. What Phillips said is what I hope is actually the case that yeah. somewhere since 1995, Till now, the, uh, the OJ found Jesus. Yeah. He found Jesus. Yeah. He yeah. repented. He gave his life over to him. Right. And hopefully he will be in eternity with all of us. I That's think right. everybody, I know everybody in this room for sure, wants to spend eternity with everybody, yeah. no matter what kind of sinner you were. Right. Just, are, like, just like Saul am, in the Bible, you know, who killed so many people. Yeah. Remember Saul, he was rough. That's why when everybody says, you know, I'm so bad that Jesus can't help me. Yeah, Wrong too answer. far gone. No, you're Wrong not. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. You, you don't understand the power Jesus has. Yeah. Okay. He yeah. is the power. Yeah. Good question, all, Mark. All sun, no, no, I'm serious. That sun you see in the, in the, in the, in hung in the sky, I know the one that hung it. Yeah. Okay. His name is I am. There you go. And that says it all. Hey, you know what's interesting? I Hunter, mean, submit this one for the Clove Award. Yeah. <laughs> no. Remember when the detachment... The room discusses <laughs> OJ. <laughs> remember when the detachment of soldiers, Jesus was praying in the garden, and the detachment of soldiers came to get him, and he walked out. He knew what they were doing. Come on, he's he's God in flesh. He walked out, and they, he said, who is it you're looking for? They said, uh, we're looking for Jesus of Nazareth. And he said, I am he. The great I am. I mean, when yeah. they when he said I am he, they what fell to the ground as if they were dead. dead yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, that's some power right there. Yeah. I want him on my side. Yeah, yeah. He wow. he's he's probably the most important to have on your side in the courtroom. <laughs> Not so. I mean, side would help, but you know, <laughs> my wife. Yeah. We're we're at the house and she's reading something, and, and somebody asked a question. I may have been Liz, but anyway, we we went. Religious. Well, she looks up Matthew, I think, 26 or 27, verse, you know, chapter 27. When Jesus rose from the dead, so did a lot of saints. Mm -hmm. And she yeah. said, I've, I've never, I, I either, I read it and looked, overlooked it. He, she said, I never, I've never seen that. Yeah. Not did only, not only. He rose from the dead, but there were saints rose with him. That's wild. You know, and like I hadn't, I don't remember reading it. Yeah. You know? There you go. And I, I have to ask myself, <laughs> you know, it, it, not only he rose from the dead, you know, he rose other, other Christians, those that believed. Mm. Remember when he called Lazarus out? Raised him up from the oh, yeah. dead. Oh, yeah, talking about, hey, take him death clothes off. 
<laughs> what if all the what if everybody would have got up who was in there with him? Oh, he told him, yeah. take the death row wraps off. Yeah. yeah. Get that off of you. Yeah, get that off of you. Yeah, put on some Tommy hey, John. Yeah. And then yeah. look, if if you keep reading it, yeah. Lazarus says. No, no, no. It's just, you know, so wild. Lazarus really says, is. Lord, don't don't lift us all up. I owe a bunch of these guys money. Am I the only one you raised? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have I'm just joking about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I need a, I need a concordance oh, and some things before oh, we go oh. into this. this is, y'all blowing my mind right now. I'm trying to read. <laughs> That would suck. Oh no, that's one oh, of the we things. Stopped. That's another thing. Okay, I was like, "Where's you? That, that, that? Hey, people on the other side wanted to come back. Yeah. Okay, and 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 they knew they were done for, but they wanted to come back to tell somebody, "Hey, look, it's real. You better, you better, you know, mind your p's and q's, yeah. so to speak. You better get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so that that's just you know." It would be a bummer to get there and then turn around and come back. But in that case, too, that's how you change the world. Like, that's the, that's the. Uh-uh. Yeah. I mean, if, so, if you well, go that's and. Why, that's why when somebody comes to the Lord, okay, you got to look and ask yourself a question if you've seen it. Yeah. And said, hey, wait a minute. That old boy used to be, you know. Yeah, what does it say? Better, better yeah. one sinner come to the Lord than ninety nine righteous, the yeah. ninety nine and the one. Yeah, like the the rejoicing, yeah. the rejoicing that you happens know, what, over one repentance. What, what happened to him to make that big a difference that he changed that drastically? Yeah, you got to ask yourself that question. Well, and I think it's kind of a point Phil always makes. Like for crying out loud, we count time by this fella. Like I mean. The year twenty twenty four. For real, if there was a point, <laughs> yeah, if there was a point where everybody said, "Time starts now," that's a biggie. Yeah. Nobody said that about nobody else that was walking <laughs> on yeah, this yeah. earth that actually walked around on this he, earth. He like, did some things. Like, he made some moves. So I, people, uh, people listen. So. Yeah, if, Either it's the greatest hoax of all time, and boy, were they committed to the bit, you know, yeah. when they started boiling still, them alive. And still are. <laughs> and, well, and hey, throwing that rocks back, at them. That's how we kicked this off. What's that? That goes back to the question. Is he really him? Well, and it does right. go back to guilty Here's and the innocent. Deal. Here's and, the deal. You're going to have to prove me wrong because I won't believe in him. Well, if he's if he's not, what's the worst that happens to us? Hey, the same thing that's going to happen to that's us. Right. Yeah, you lose anyway. That's right. <laughs> you lose anyway. You lose. That's why I will. Hey, lawyer, you're gonna have to prove to me that he <laughs> ain't who he says he is. Yeah, yeah. I, that's I, an interesting one. I tend to always opt for the the path that leaves a winning outcome. Yeah, yeah. I want a win win situation, and so far, that's all I see. Yeah. You, With him, you win, win, win. There's only upside. Yeah. Without him. <laughs> yeah. With him, without yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. You're either <laughs> with him or without him. And hey, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna win with him. Well, that's my favorite point to make when when talking with people because we often you know jesus came to give us a bunch of rules and god's got all the rules no he didn't if we, what's about? <laughs> i know he didn't that's the point uh, jesus to make. Brought, <laughs> you jesus, tell him sir jesus tell- brought the key to unlock all the chains baby <laughs> exactly but but people oh. think the bible's like all these rigid rules and, and uh, oh man we're not allowed to do this not but it's actually like hey um just looking out for you bro yeah. Turns out if you just pick woman and stay with her and don't get involved with others, your life's better. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Turns out mm-hmm. if you're a yeah. good neighbor and you're not lying, cheating, and stealing from people, you know, life's better. Yeah. Turns right. out longer. if you, you know, work hard with your hands and live a quiet life and you're not dependent on anybody, life's better. It's this weird thing where it's like, man, why is he giving me all these rules? Oh, just to make your life better. Right, and know this, that the whole law is summed up in two things. Yes. Love God yeah. with love all you your God. heart, soul, mind, and strength, and, love, you and love your neighbor as yourself. I mean, those two things, I want to do that no matter what happens. 
I mean, you're going to have a better life. Here's the deal. I found this out the other yeah. day. Second Corinthians chapter 20, verse, uh, oh, no. I should have brought a Bible Second, today. We're no, just rolling. Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. Second, two, there, yeah. two Corinthians, one yeah. twenty. One twenty. Greater than one Corinthian. For here's, no matter. Here's the deal. <laughs> the answer, everything in Jesus Christ, the answer is yes. I just found that the other day. I probably have read it, and but I didn't really. It didn't hit and yeah. stay. I said, "Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute." If you're in Jesus Christ, all the answers is yes and amen. And amen. Yes and amen. Yep. It is. Oh, we're about yeah. to get a guitar. You know, you know when no is used. There is no condemnation in. Christ Jesus. That's right. None. What's that? Romans. That's wrong with something. Yeah. But <laughs> they, hey, this ain't. I was gonna Romans say. eight one. This ain't unashamed. We know was, it's in there. You're gonna have to look up where it's at yourself. Yeah. This is a duck call, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're 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 much into the um, right. the. That's, um, that's one of my flaws. Redneck I interpretation. Can't, I, can't, I can say it's there, but I can't quote what it is. Hey, I got yeah. you. Romans eight <laughs> one's where he's at now, folks. Okay. Yeah. You just that's why when J.D. J. D. said it in in easy English language to understand. Uh, oh, dude, I'm just trying to make your life better. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I back that up by scripture. Everything is yes in Christ Jesus. And amen. <laughs> Good one, That's Tom. a jam, by the yeah. way. Okay. Johnny D hung yeah. on the song. All right. your promises. So we did go yes, heavy today. Man. <laughs> well, we got we 20 minutes. We didn't take a break yet and let the folks uh, I don't uh, even know if we've taken a break. No, we have. <laughs> I, I mean, mean <laughs> Phil left and we just kept going. <laughs> I look. What you eating over there, old man? I'm in my trail mix. He's on that trail uh -oh. mix bag. You know where that trail mix came from, don't you? Nurse.com, baby. Yeah. Hey, quit chewing in the microphone. Good night. Oh, oh no, this man. Is delicious. It is delicious. Hey. And it's hey. a healthy snack. It's got all kind of dried fruit in it. I can tell it's slobber in your stopper. <laughs> hey. it, it even sounds good, boys. Not uh, only does it taste good, it sounds good. Oh, I love it. Look, mm. if, if you like to snack on the go or snack at your desk or snack anywhere, really, um, yeah, nuts.com's got something for you. Look, so throwing snacks. <laughs> so whether you're wanting like butter braided pretzels the kids can have, um, any nuts, obviously, popcorn, specialty flowers, they've got it all. Nuts.com is your one-stop shop for freshly roasted nuts, dried fruits, sweets, pantry staples like specialty flowers, and more. Their wide selection means there's something for everyone. Nuts.com offers plenty of gluten-free options, organic choices, and other diet-friendly products. Whether you're looking for something sweet, savory, or need to stock up on everyday cooking essentials, you're bound to find something to try. And at Nuts.com, quality is the top priority. They roast their nuts and pop their corn the same day it ships so that they reach you fresh. And satisfaction is guaranteed. If you just want to order once in a while, you can do that. If you want to opt in to auto ships because you're like, man, those bourbon pecans are that good. I need them, them once a month good. or once a week or whatever. They've got it. You can do it. And if you're already stocked up at home, look, they sell directly to businesses and have a bunch of great gift options. So, I I mean, they send us stuff all the time and we order from there, too. And you never knew that you were missing chocolate covered gummy bears until you had one. Right. <laughs> you never knew. Like, that. I, I miss mean, them. I actually need to reorder that. Notice those are gone. Those aren't on the table. Those and the bourbon pecans. First one's gone every That's time. They out of like, here, baby. Whoop, they gone. They gone. So. Look, right now, Nuts.com is offering new customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $29 or more at Nuts.com slash Duck. So go check out all the delicious options at Nuts.com slash Duck. You'll receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $29 or more. That's Nuts.com slash Man, that's a duck. Do you think they framed him? You think somebody well, framed him? Here's, here's the deal. Why? Hunter just let out a. <laughs> I said, you think they framed him? Hunter went. <laughs> here's the deal. Hunter, were you alive during this? No. No way, right? Hunter, what year were you born? I was born in 2000. Yeah, no. Here's the, okay. here's the deal. That is so a weird. neighbor, a neighbor of the the people that got snuffed out. She said, I saw three <laughs> guys. Great. And he just say snuffed out. Don't laugh, Martin. I, Don't laugh, Martin. Keep it together, man. 
Well, all right, but that's size, what I'm... size officially at the age where he can say stuff like that, and nobody cares. <laughs> what? If we say that, they're like, "Oh my God, you're so inconsiderate and rude." After they snuffed rude. out old girl, no, when he went on a joyride around Los I, Angeles. I, I bet you asked me a question. Yeah. They had hey a witness next door witness said hey I you know a lot about this case walk buddy. out the back <laughs> gate okay y'all the night it happened well I kept asking or kept waiting for somebody to bring it up in the courtroom yeah it was never brought up because the first thing I'd have done was I said hey I want the witness next door on the stand I've got questions about. Where's the three guys? Where's the three guys? Did anybody look for them? Yeah. No. Well, hey, doubt one. And a lot has changed now because every house you got somewhere got a camera on it. Oh, so yeah. So that's why yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. like, the deal. They would have had that sucker on a ring doorbell. It would have been on social media, oh, yeah. and we would have oh. seen it all play out yeah, live. we would have seen who did it. Yeah. Also, that <laughs> camera on that helicopter chasing that Bronco sucked. <laughs> like, you couldn't tell nothing. You couldn't tell who was driving. That's how it exactly. used to be. Now, yeah. they would have had, it been like, and then OJ would have been live on Instagram. Tell you, I Allegedly. didn't do it. Allegedly. And why oh, he, didn't, was, I, he was in the Bronco, wasn't right. he? Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. And why didn't they throw the chains? <laughs> I don't know nothing. Blow his four tires. Yeah. They did that to my grandma. They didn't even do it to OJ. <laughs> that's right. They did yeah. that to her grandma. Hey, she was just driving down Arkansas Road. <laughs> Hold on. Right. I kid you not. We got an email the other day. I don't know where it's at. Somebody else's grandma got got in Kentucky by the exact same thing. Got a spice. The police can't the police. even tell who's in the car, so maybe we wouldn't know if it was OJ these days. Shit. See? Hey. That's what I'm telling you, man. Well, when you bring – the hey. more you add humans to it, oh yeah, the greater the potential for error. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's just. Oh, yeah. Which is why, like, that's, did that's we the really land on the moon? Day. You know? Okay. That's the lesson hey, for today. Are dinosaurs real? Hey. Uh oh, no, they here were. We go. They were? Yeah. You've seen one? No, got the bones. We've seen the bones. Uh, have you seen the bones? Hold hey, on, biologist hey, man. Are you hey, against I, dinosaurs? I like, like to like sing Randy Travis. Says, hey, I'm just sitting here digging up bones. I'm digging up bones. That's we right. sure know a lot about something that lived 20 million years ago or billion years ago. Oh, how, do, how do we? How do we know oh, so now, much? Now, hey, now we're gonna get deep into I'm the just, theology. I'm just, I'm just curious. Here's, here's so on why we keep moving the goalpost on a lot of <laughs> carbon go. dating no, is no. a farce. It, to, I said hey, it to get into it more, even more. Why is all this stuff found in Wyoming, the state of Wyoming? A lot of what? It. Yeah, a there's lot a of, triceratops. Hey, Google it. A lot of bones, uh, dinosaur bones, are found in the state of Wyoming. <laughs> there you go. Really? Yeah. They they never were here, right? Huh? What you got? Well, that's what they say. Hey. Oh. It's like Black Panthers. Some people <laughs> say Black Panthers ain't here. That's <laughs> the only fool. Oh, that here we go. Thing is that. <laughs> See, I'm just saying. Where is it? What state has got the uh, 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 the uh, dirt level that they keep looking at? The what? Hood? It's the main one that's ever, ever quoted. They always go to that state and look at all the level, different levels of the, the, the uh, dirt. To our audience, if you also watch PBS, could you email yeah, in hello at Duck Carter and let us know what he's talking about? I'm not sure yeah, on this that one. PBS. Here's what I can assure you. Yeah. It's not Louisiana. Cause you dig that's a true. hole, you dig a hole that's here. True. It's just gonna be full of yeah, water. Yeah, you don't go very far before you get water. Yeah, you, you ain't gonna out. dig no hole here to yeah. look at dirt. Yeah, and we've uh, had a lot. That's the problem. Of There's a lot of hunters out there taking oh, out triceratops. Oh, that was the, that was the kid's favorite uh, dinosaur, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just a shame that they're killing all these poor innocent for creatures sport. Right. for sport. That's Have right. y'all ever seen that? Yeah, oh, yeah. all them live. All those people get upset on the Twitter or the Instagram or the Facebook about them killing the precious animals and it's Steven Spielberg in front of a triceratops. Hey, I got a news flash on it. I watched the show the other day outdoors. And look, hunters were in Africa and doing a good thing. They had the Cape Buffalo yeah. that was marauded and killing the villagers in Africa. Well, the first thing they did, there was a bunch of hunters there that were lodged. They went and said, hey, would y'all come down here and shoot these you know, buffaloes and kill a lot of people? Yeah. So they went down there and they killed three of them out of the four. The buffalo are, buffaloes suck. Buffalo are mean. Yeah. 
You saw what they did to Mufasa. Yeah, because they, you know, have, what do you think? <laughs> you know, would you like to live somewhere you're out hanging on your clothes to dry after you've washed them mm -hmm. and get killed by a Cape Buffalo? I don't even like my neighbor's dogs. Well, hey, I'm well, terrified of a buffalo. Yeah. I'm afraid of horses. So, hey, although <laughs> all of y'all that are uh, bad or rough on hunters, we do good things. Thank you. God, I love these hours, okay. man. <laughs> well, hey, this wow. is an educational show. I, mean, I just, hey, okay. <laughs> I just love the winding road that most of the time no, it feels no, like it. you're going somewhere, but we're yeah. really just yeah. like the world's longest NASCAR road race course. Well, we always end up back. No, to the no, same what spot, happened here? Okay, I, crazy. I, look, is I had some trail mix before we started. There it is. Okay, and I'm like Willie Nelson. I'm on the trail again, boys. He's on the road again, boys. <laughs> Unbelievable. There it is. <laughs> Look at these people. Look at this clown taking out. What a beautiful animal. <laughs> Who's the clown? Look. <laughs> he just killed this for sport. What a bad person. It's a triceratops, dummies. <laughs> it was Jurassic Park. It was a great movie. Oh, boy. Oh, oh man. Okay. I love it. Uh. On the winding road. Yeah. Are we to the point where we could pull off Jurassic World? Huh? Like in real life, could we do it? Could we do what? Jurassic Park. Oh, in real life? Yeah. No. Why not? Because hey, all them dinosaurs would stampede and just stomp us into the ground. Yeah. I, the, we would go back to where we came from. So if they were here. There's six <laughs> movies detailing <laughs> why it's here. a terrible idea, but to, to quote, could we do it? To quote the movie... Uh, we never stopped to think about if we should. Yeah, Dr. Ian Malcolm <laughs> said we, we we were so worried if we could, we never stopped to think if we should. But could we? Because I'm for it. Really? Oh, Carter. There's a guy who's oh. scared of horses? No, you're no, for it? Yeah. He yeah, was down as long as it's down there in Guatemala. I mean, hey, I don't want it to be in the wet. The he Monroe Zoo does not need dinosaurs. He I'm wants against it that. Carter. So you think, like, you, you remake pterodactyls. They just gonna stay in Guatemala. They ain't gonna come. They ain't gonna come swoop once you up. Again, they Jurassic migrate. Park three shows why they pterodactyls migrate. are a terrible idea. I'm just saying, try like let's keep it. Oh, so to you're the, like like brontosaurus and like oh, the plant eaters. Yeah, yeah herbivores yeah. only. Yeah, herbivores. what was, what no was if we learned anything from Steven Spielberg? It's herbivores only. What was the big fly one that looked like a bat or a dragon and all this together? Pterodactyl. Okay. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> ain't it wonderful that it turned into a duck? <laughs> I think that was the episode of Flintstones. <laughs> See, it used to be the pterodactyl, and now it's just it's, it's just a friendly duck. And then and all we of a sudden, a human them. being. We can shoot them and eat them. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Get in that inbox. I don't know where we're gonna keep going oh, if boy. we don't if we don't change the hello at duck call room. I would just com. love to know if we could do it though. I think we I think it's out there. I don't think we could handle it. We I don't think we could handle it, but yeah. I think it's out there. Yeah. Okay. I, I think, think we the technology it. is out there. As, and I have a new favorite as, segment. Let, let me just let uh, I just want to pose this before we go <laughs> any further. As a country who can't even balance a budget. We don't need to be playing with making dinosaurs. No, no, no. This is not, we no, can't no. even do math. Sir, I want the government so far away from this. This is a for-profit organization ran by a billionaire somewhere. Uh, like I'll, Elon I'll, Musk is, needs to be in charge of this. Well, I'll he's worried. This, this app, what he just said. Amen. The government needs to stay <laughs> away from this. Hey, time out. You're, you're acting like I'm talking about just the government. How many people in this country run a balanced budget? Not many. Our debt ceiling wouldn't be through the roof. That's right. Like, I'm just saying. Dinosaur's expensive. Until we can do the math. <laughs> it's they a need a lot. Until it's a we can do the math, let's stay away from the science. Uh, six a. I, I'm no, just, yeah. that's all I'm going Yeah, for. we Since we have such a rough time with the math, yeah, I was, I was I hope, there. I hope, I just. My hope and prayer is one day we do an ad on this for twenty percent off your ticket to Jurassic Park using promo code duck slash pterodactyl. Anyway, hello at Duck Call Room. I have go. a new favorite segment. Go uh -oh. ahead. We've never done it, but Wyatt emailed in. He's All from right. Denver, Colorado. The subject line: Am I a redneck? 
Oh yeah. I would love to judge all of our fans on if they're rednecks or not. We can't. We can judge. So that. if you're curious on if you are a redneck oh. or not and would like size opinion, hold it. He just said something I we just talked about. You don't need to go there. What do you mean? I can judge hey, on somebody judge. if they're a redneck. Oh yeah, no, you can make you, that judgment. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Easily. If you listen to one episode of this long enough to get to the email address, you might be. A you redneck. are a redneck. No, you, the mite's gone. <laughs> mites on chicken. No, you are. <laughs> you, you, yeah, mites on a chicken. I know about this guy. <laughs> okay, but I look. All I'm saying is, if you email in and you ask me if you're a redneck, I'm probably going to start proposing these to. But Sal. I would love to know what epiphany he had to make him consider that he potentially yeah, that was. He, might he thinks he is. The people around him say no. Oh. Denver, Colorado area. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing he's somewhere near that airport that's up to no good. Um, he's currently in an ongoing argument with his coworkers. Oh, they think he is a red. His coworkers think he's a redneck. He doesn't because he's from a small country town. He loves to hunt and fish. He also has some stories that they say are redneck. He didn't share those, so it's hard to say. Um. Stories are good enough. Yeah. He loves mm -hmm. the big city and heavy metal music. That is not good for redneck. That That's is good redneck. for sitting behind the computer in a redneck room. Uh, sports, that doesn't make a difference. He loves going to other big cities. He strongly dislikes the small town life. He'd much rather be in a suburban neighborhood instead of a ton of land. Based on this information, is your name's Wyatt, first off. But would you conclude... If he is redneck or it not just redneck. Means he's a lead Closet character redneck. on Ozark. No. What, uh, Closet redneck? My, my question is, hey, somebody define redneck. <laughs> That's hard. So That's... Go, to West, go to Webster and give us, <laughs> give us a dictionary of, um, of the... What is a redneck in the I'm not gonna, world? I'm not going to give you a, 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 a word definition, but I'm going to just give you striking visuals. Oh, That's not fair. Redneck. <laughs> Redneck. redneck. Okay. Redneck. Redneck. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm, okay. I'm redneck. A, hey, redneck. I'm offended okay. by that? Webster's. Hunter. Redneck. Hunter's a redneck. Uh, Hunter's a redneck. He Hunter. absolutely You've is. You've moved up in the world, son. He's a weird one. <laughs> he's a weird he's one. He's a weird redneck. He's, well, a, he's a redneck. He's a fringy one, but his collar is still blue. <laughs> oh, okay. And his neck is still red. If okay. you've okay. ever fixed anything with duct tape. Redneck. You may be a redneck. That's right. You may be a redneck. Do y'all really want the... That's a card to Jeff Foxworthy. The, the Webster's definition is offensive. That's fine. Go ahead. Lay it on us. Uh -oh. our, our man Noah didn't write this definition anyways. Nah, his daughter did. It's sometimes disparaging a white member... I'm just going to stare in the camera for a second and say this. that makes it false. Hey, of the what? southern rural laboring class... You saying all rednecks are white people? No. Oh, no. That's that thing. No. You. The only thing that they have correct about that after being all over this country and world as well is member of laboring class. That's right. Yeah. It's the in only words, part of that definition that you, is actually most redneck correct. place I've ever been is Canada. Yeah. 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 Notice right. we ain't yep. picking on Beth saying she ain't one. She. Beth might be a redneck. There's oh, people yeah. from Saskatchewan for sure rednecks. Look, here, let me let, let's just give a, a back, let's just give a backstory on Beth. She started in Canada. She went to North Carolina. She ended up in Louisiana. Redneck. You don't survive those moves without having at least a tenth redneck in you. So yeah, she's in. Otherwise, she'd have been done. <laughs> she'd have been done acting like a Mallard Drake and headed back home. But yeah, like, right. she said that's right. no. But the fact that she can come and thrive in and, West and fit in, yeah, she a redneck. Webster actually gave the the working class people. Webster sucks. Yeah, he he, uh, you know, kudos. Yeah. Do you so know that, how many black rednecks hey, I know? That's all I need to say people. about the white part. A red we're all rednecks, a working person. and hey, they're everywhere. Hey, We've buddy. met so many in yeah. Hispanics. Michigan. Yeah. No, a like, bunch of them too. I mean, and Southern, that's just the dumbest thing I've ever yeah, heard. No, yeah, no, it's not oh, yeah. Southern. The Southern like, deal is, oh, he's in there. there. You boys go stomp around them hills of Pennsylvania and upstate New York. And that's get right. Back or go to, go yeah. to back Wisconsin. With, get back with yeah, you, boys. Uh, Wisconsin. Yeah. Go to Wisconsin, like, Minnesota. Whenever oh, I was in places. Pittsburgh, I saw more calf tattoos than I've ever seen in my life <laughs> in Pittsburgh specifically. <laughs> yeah. A calf tattoo. And yeah. a colored calf tattoo? <laughs> it's a telltale sign. 
Anyways, Wyatt specifically. I'm going to go Wyatt. I don't care. I mean, I think that's... I think he grew up redneck and he's trying to run from it. Well, you better yeah. wrap this up because I got a doctor's appointment. Oh, shoot. There you go. Hey, yeah, I've, I've got a Bible here. verse for us today. Hey, right, it's not the Bible verse. Phil this redneck's got to go see a football star, high school Touchdown football Tommy, player. Tommy, baby. I got to go see Second Corinthians Tommy. Redneck. Second Corinthians 5, 13. If we are out of our minds, as some say, it is for God. If we are in our right minds, it is for you. Keep that in mind. Guess if we're what? out of our I, minds, si, I'm going to leave you with God. this. I raised my hand. I am out of my mind, and I'm going to touch down Tommy. <laughs> touch we'll down. Is it over already? We'll see y'all next time. See y'all right next time, you bunch of rednecks. What?